We're rolling out the use of an electronic tablet with an app and website that will replace the old paper convening circular. There's a few reasons. One is that there, it's easier to change and update. Um, we can send it out to people across the country much easier. And then at the meeting, um, we're not having to print thousands and thousands and thousands of pages of documents. We're just going to make it so that everyone has an iPad with all the information on it and uh, accessible to them um, wherever they are. The idea actually came from uh, the Episcopal Church uh, down in the United States, uh, did this at their last national meeting, um, but as well the uh, Anglican Communion did this at the last Primates meeting, and most recently at the Anglican Consultative Council meeting uh, that just uh, wrapped up last week. It's it actually I hope it is pretty easy and uh, one of the one of the ways that we did it was we uh, were using it primarily initially on an iPad um, we'll be handing out iPads to to everyone at General Synod but we will also be releasing it beforehand so that they can access it um, from their home computer or from their iPad or their iPhone um, at the beginning of June. So, so they'll have time to, hopefully for many people, this won't be like, they won't be coming and arriving and saying they haven't looked at it before. But even if they have, the feeling is, is that it's, it's pretty visual and pretty easy to, to, to use. Once it works up, once it starts up, uh, there's just a, a number of icons along the left that, that basically replicates a lot of what was in the paper uh, uh, convening circular. You know, for example, there's reports, resolutions, the handbook, um, there's these orientation videos will be on there, um, as well as a list of members and uh, a map along with a, a personalized agenda. Well, the app it works pretty simply. It's it's when you open it up, um, there'll just be some uh, icons down the left-hand side um, that basically replicates the the tabs in the convening circular. So, for example, you have general information for delegates, reports, resolutions, the handbook, um, the orientation videos. So, if you want to access something, you would just you know click what you're looking for, like say, like, want to look at the reports, and then say you're interested in the archivist report. So then you would open that up and there you go. For you to read and it's a PDF that you can download and uh, and print otherwise. And then when you're done, you just click done. And then you can either go back by to the home screen by hitting the back button up here or you can just go directly off of one of these icons here. In the agenda as you can see, it's customized. So during the morning plenary, you can you can go into a section and you can bookmark it, and you can take notes. And these notes would be saved to, just to you, and um, they are synchronized through all the devices. So if you take notes on one, they work on all the others. Or you can do a social share, um, which is. Uh, a note that you can send to all the other members of Synod or even to uh, Twitter or LinkedIn. And you can, if you wish, you can send a, a photo as well. We will be doing a demonstration of the tablet for everyone. And then there will also be General Synod staff and volunteers available during the whole meeting to help people if they have any questions or concerns. But my feeling is, is that combination of using iPads and this app and, and hearing the experience at uh, other meetings that, that it, should be, uh, it, it should be pretty easy for most people. And then also, you know, you have those people around your tables. You're sitting, you're sitting for most of the meeting, you know, with people from across the country. So if you, if you happen to be there and, and you have a bit of trouble, just ask your neighbor and, and, and I'm sure they'll help. And if you are that person at the table who knows how, you know, feel free to, to help uh, someone who's uh, maybe having a bit of a trouble. With Wi-Fi being available at the uh, at the hotel throughout the hotel, including the rooms, they'll be able to take uh, take photos with it. Um, 
and uh, share them with their friends and family. Um, and also, even more importantly, they'll be able to share it with uh, other members of, of Synod. So while you're, they're in a meeting or into a piece, they can actually put their comments into it, share a photo, um, connect either with all of the other members of Synod or even with individual members. Sadly, no. Um, what will happen is, is that when they come to Synod, when they register, they will get uh, one of the iPads, um, and then at the end of Synod, they do have to return them. General Synod is. We recognize that these these devices are things that we are asking everyone to use, so we're taking the responsibility for them. We of course ask that if, if you do have one of these devices, that you do take care of it as it is your own, but you know, if, if for some reason there's an accident, um, or it breaks, or it's stolen, we do have extra ones to replace. Um, and then also if you have any problems during the meeting, for example, say it stops working or whatever, there's going to be a iPad help desk where in most cases we'll either really try and quickly fix it or if we can't fix it right away we'll just pass you a new one. I really do. I, I really think that people will will find it a feeling that that they're that they're moving technologically forward. And also I think they'll be really excited with with some of the opportunities to share and connect with other members of, of Synod that may not be at their table. Um, and also, um, I'm really excited about the idea of um, if you're in a, in a session to, to put your own comments in there. So, you know, it kind of helps those who may not always go up to the microphone to, to kind of share their thoughts. There's opportunities, say, during during uh, individual sessions that there will be opportunities to possibly poll, ask you know, kind of informal polling during it. And also during, um, during one of the agenda sessions, um, there is an ability to either add a note or to um, social share what they're talking about. And this social share um, can either be just to all the other members of General Synod or it can also be to to those people out at home as well. So, but if you do by default, it's sharing just with other members of Synod, so you know you can share your thoughts and your photos. Well, on June 1st, what's going to happen is that the the website and app that is going to be installed on these on the device during Synod will be released. And what will happen there is that emails, personalized emails, will go out to all members of Synod. And we're really encouraging them then to open the email and finish the login process. They'll get a username and password. And they can actually start exploring the app either on their own device, to download the app either on their, you know, on their iPad or their iPhone or their Android device. Or even if they don't have any of this, they can use it on their computer. And so the idea is that, is that while at Synod, we're going to be giving everyone iPads to use beforehand. And even during that, if they bring their own device or if they're at home and they want to use it, they can. And the interesting thing is, is that once they log in with their username and password, any work or any kind of customization they do with the app, like putting in notes or setting up their personal schedule or, or whatever, if they do it on one device, it's synchronized automatically to all the other ones. So that when they get to Synod, any of the notes or, or flags or bookmarks that they've done beforehand, when they get their device at Synod, it'll all be synchronized automatically. We will be giving all the, all the members of Synod uh, an iPad to use. Um, we want to make sure that everyone has the ability to have the same level of experience. But if they're more comfortable in using their own device at Synod, they're more than welcome to. But if it, say for some reason, it breaks down, their personal device breaks down or has an access issue, we really would say, you know, use the iPad and if we can, we'll help them with their own device. But primarily we're saying during the meeting, if you can, use your iPad, but you're also free to use whatever else you wish. So, so basically what we're going to, to ask 
members is just to take it back to the room and charge it overnight. If it is fully charged, it should last well through the whole day. When they get the iPads uh, registration, they'll be getting an iPad, there will be a case on it, and they'll be getting a, a charging cable and a plug for the wall.